Hi there. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to make a very easy and simple buckwheat hull pillow. Now, uh, while I uh, sold tens of thousands of these things over the last 10-15 years, uh, I don't actually sew, so I can't actually sew one up here. But I'll kind of give you the idea, and if you know how to sew, it, it'll pretty much come come pretty clear to you what you need to do. Uh, if you don't know how to sew, you got to show somebody who knows how to sew this video. Uh, actually, I'll also show you a really simple, easy way that uh, you can uh, put together a buckwheat hull pillow without sewing at all. Now, let's dispense with the really, really simple way of doing it. Uh, you go to your favorite uh, big uh, discount store and you get yourself a zippered pillowcase. This one is uh, a little bit big for my liking for a buckwheat hull pillow, but, uh, you know, it would do. And... Uh, Something like this, you'd probably have to get about five or six pounds of hulls in, in to, uh, to make it uh, high enough. Uh, ideally, your pillow is going to be about 15 inches by 20 inches. That's, that's, in my view, the ideal size of a buckwheat hull pillow. Uh, which, just let me pop out of the screen here for a second. This is 15 by 20. And it's a good size. Uh, and of course, I mean, to sew one up, it's just really simple. You just cut your two pieces of fabric, put a zipper in, and then you want to buy hulls. That was one of the biggest questions we got, is how many, how many pounds of hulls do you need? 15 to 20. If 15 inches by 20 inches, if you're going to the bother of ordering hulls, you want to get more than enough, because the hulls do compress with, uh, over time. Uh, so I would recommend you probably get four and a half, five pounds of hulls. You'll probably end up using about two and a half to three pounds, but if you're one of those people that like a pretty high pillow, you might use the full four pounds. Uh, where do you find the hulls? Online. There's all kinds of really good uh, uh, sources for buckwheat hulls online. Uh, you know, you might as well go organic. The price differential isn't that much different, and by going organic, you know that the hulls are going to be pretty well uh, cared for and processed. Uh, now, the other chip, when you're looking to buy the hulls, uh, find out what the price of the hulls are going to be, just to buy the bulk hulls. That's what you want to look for, is bulk hulls online. Uh, find out what the price of the bulk hulls are going to be, but then also look and see how much the company's pillows are selling for. Because a lot of times, you'll find that an actual pillow is like maybe 4 or $5 more than the amount of hulls you got to buy. Well, you might as well buy the pillow and hulls at the same, you know, uh, all as one. Uh, you know, if you're just spending an extra four or five bucks, save the time and labor. Uh, so there you have it. Again, I hope this has been interesting and ho helpful to you.